If you're looking for a career change, some experts suggest looking toward the medical field. This morning, Holly is learning ways to train for a healthcare career at the MedTech Institute in Silver Spring, Maryland. Holly, good morning. Good morning. We specifically signed up for the medical assistant program this morning, and they have some pretty impressive numbers. Uh, about 70% of the people that start the program finish the program, and what's even more impressive is the job placement rate. About 80% of the people that complete this program go on to be gainfully employed, and obviously that's very important in the current economic times that we're seeing. Dr. Amir Kreshi is the regional executive director for Mid-Atlantic Region for MedTech Institute. Institute. He's giving us our classes this morning and our students who actually have already graduated. Uh, Iola Wilson and Marcy Arias are back with us again. Uh, good morning to all of you. Good Thank morning. you for helping show this. And so this really is, um, I, I mean, it's a good thing in terms of the numbers really tell the story. That's you come right. in and get the education, there's a really good chance that you're going to have a job on the other side. Absolutely. Um, our, our success is measured based on that. Our CEO, John Hopkins, have clearly stated that fact that, you know, the successful measurement tool in this case is really how many people are gainfully employed at the end of their program completing their program so absolutely that's fine and that's exactly how we look at it so what are we learning right now last time we talked about EKGs <clears throat> now we're learning the well what we're going to do is the very most common blood work uh, that we do in, a, in any office that you will go to if you go for a general health screen uh -huh. you're gonna have a blood work done sure well uh, this is the most uh, common way of doing that and is by introducing the needle and withdrawing the blood in a in a respectable tubes and, there's and you a couple specifically of teach how to make it not hurt right that is absolutely <laughs> correct <laughs> we don't lie about that have but, you guys you know, accomplished that can you make yeah. it not hurt we're still, still working on it right? there are techniques that is specifically to minimize the trauma. The needle is very, it's, it's designed in a manner that it will minimize the trauma of the skin and the technique helps on that. All right. So basically all our students starts out with the, uh, the model portion of it and then they move on to a live body. Okay. But this is actually a true model for that and uh, you're going to start with this portion of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to clean off. What we're doing is we're mm -hmm. going to clean off all the sanitizer by alcohol prep pad which allows us to see that localizing the blood vessel mm -hmm. tying of the tourniquet. As um, Viola is doing that, Marcy, I want to ask you, where are you, okay. you, where are you working now? I'm working here in the school, co-teaching in a class. So yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet it's been, been, been very interesting. Yes. So, the reason we're tying up the tourniquet is to pull the blood into the blood vessels, and this model won't do it, but in a live patient you'll have the fist, right. which kind of mm -hmm. pulls up the area. This should be a one, two, three test. You go and you take the blood, you're done with it. All As right. you can see that part, of it, you'll see. Uh, she'll demonstrate that point then. Iola, were you nervous the first time you did this? Yes. I bet so. Still because as nervous. a patient, I'm always nervous. <laughs> 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 and, which brings up a good question, because you also talk about, uh, don't you also talk about bedside manner and how to put the Absolutely. patient at ease? Absolutely. This, this allows us to... Um, Everything that we do in a medical field must have bedside manners and customer service oriented. And uh, this is going to be very, very important for us. Just push it through. Mm -hmm. And and the end product would be getting the blood on this portion of it. That's sure. how it would look like. Um, well, that, that patient matter. didn't flinch at all. It must not have hurt. And then you will remove the corner. <laughs> okay. Is part there part. anything, like, um, as a patient, we can do to make it easier on medical assistance? Well, basically, uh, being very comfortable. I mean, having the conversation, like, you know, we're going to take your blood. It's going to be a small pinch. We never said it's not going to hurt because right. it's a needle. Yeah. And people are not going to believe you when you say, okay, I'm going to put a needle on your body and it's not yeah. going to hurt. So it's a pinch. It's a discomfort. It's a very very sharp thin needle that just right. goes in one two three and you're done see so, I asked that question because I will never be a medical assistant because <laughs> I can't do it the fact that I'm still standing is pretty good you got smelling salts around here because it's always maybe in question but I'm happy that you all have come and trained to do something like this and that means there's obviously a spot available for you as well my spot my fox see the whole needle thing makes me nervous my is our website we have a link to MedTech Institute if you want to find out more about all the different programs that they're offering right now and how you can come find out more. Coming up in our next hour, we're actually going to give the shot. That's correct. I don't know. Maybe I can handle that. <laughs> it just depends, on, I, it depends on who I'm envisioning giving the shot to. But anyway, that's coming up in our 9 o'clock hour. Back to you guys. Hope it's not one of us. No. Holly, thank you. <laughs> as far as you know, no. Okay. You're cringing already. 849 right now. Oh, boy. Well, could Spain be saying good?